From Bag Up TV. Now we've just got here. We are at uh, Woodlands Thirsk for the open match. Meeting Nosha for a breakfast. So I think he's turned up. So let's get out of the car, get some breakfast. Come on. for top two. So you have one peg which is halved, it's 1120 quid, so that's 560 quid jackpot peg today, and it is Skylark 28. Fishing times, quarter past 11 or quarter five. No bees. You create a thirty six. It's got to be on it. What seventeen? Oh, for fuck's sake, Craig! I don't want to fish hundred quid anymore. Craig, I don't want to fish hundred quid. Yeah, we've got some. Forty seven. Right, here we go, we're all set up. We are on peg seven, partridge. This is where we are. Okay, in the corner, apparently the corners are the better pegs. Um, and look who's there, Alan Norrish. Unbelievable, isn't it? 
Craig Kent on MPEG up there as well. Um, so this is what we've got set up. I've got my margin pole because apparently they're absolutely monsters in here. Nine to ten pound. So I've got my midi M2 G pulse. Ten and a half meters, which is perfect. I've got two top kits set up. I'm only fishing margin with that one. Um, and then I've got a bit of ground bait for down edge. I've got my micros all done. Um, some corn, um, some maggots, and then I've got some donkey chokers, eight mils for the middle. I'm gonna uh, ping a few pellets into the middle of the lake, fish a method. Um, gonna have a go short. And then this margin's lovely. This one's a little bit iffy with the depth. Um, so I don't know if I'll fish that one, but if that one's no good, um, I'm trying to get the same depth. So I ain't got to mess about and change him, but it's a bit shallower that side, a bit deeper this side. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Roll set up, method feeder, um, free nets, split your fish. Um, that's it, simple match. Looks like it's going to rain all day. Um, we've not got much depth here, about five foot or something like that. Um, so it might be. I don't know if them fish will come in and think that's probably why they're probably in the middle and stuff like that. Got Mike Bab straight across, so we'll see what he does. Apparently he's good down there. There's a lot of lot of good people around here, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna chuck the method and uh, we'll go from there. But we're supposed to be starting in like a, a minute, but uh, not look like Craig's ready. Well that's it. We'll start then, that's the match started. See how we go on. Wish me luck. first chalk. Not really set up yet but it's gone round. Just started raining.
hit it. I've seen anyone else have it yet. Right, here we go. We're about an hour and ten minutes into the match. I've got four carp and they're quite big, the big ones. Um, for anything from eight to eight to ten pound, I would have thought. Um, I'm just chucking a feeder out into the middle. And uh, there's a few fish coming out, someone's said they've got six, someone's got four, someone's got three. Alan next door, I don't think he's got many. He's got a couple. Babs across, he's got five or six, I think. But I'm just chucking that feeder out, pinging a few pellets and then just waiting. Um, and I've started another line on feeder, just to the left of me, just pinging a few eight mil pellets. Um, but it's going all right at the minute. At one bit, I chuck in and tip a go around in like five minutes, um, and I've lost two. But I think, uh, well, I knew one of them were foul up because I got loads of scales back. But um, I think the other one were foul up because it, I could feel it like grating on, on the side. So I think them two were foul up what I've lost. Um, it's going all right at the minute. It's supposed to get windy and rainier later on in the day. But uh, as you can see, Alan is playing one now. If you can see him or not, but he's just there, Craig Kent on the end. And he's had a few as well, so everybody's catching. We just got to uh, keep his heads down, keep feeding, I think, and uh, hopefully get a few more fish. So uh, I'm going to crack on.
first hour and 10 minutes not so bad quite happy so keep going hopefully it'll get better right got another one on my food just to the left of me this time but if i look around the lake these corners are catching i don't know if they're small the fish or not but catching a few alan's had a couple of them. Got long pole I don't know what he's doing on that, but he seems to be enjoying his thing. Let's hopefully get this one out. Babs across, he's probably just from the line. It must be. Sometimes we get the other side and it is here. It seems to be in the sort of slack area. Tip. It's just slowed up a bit and I'm just all turning in when two lines out there. Just icking, nicking the odds and stuff, but Nosh is catching on the pole. People, loads of people catching. So. Made a big hole in the net. <laughs> Great, huh? That's another net down. Get up and get another one now. Thank you. 
Right, we're uh, a couple of hours left now. Loads of people are catching. I have got four tech. I've got 90 pounds on clicker. That's what I've got, but everybody seems to be catching. Apart from Norwich next door, which is quite funny, to be honest. So, uh, I don't really want to shout over him, give him some gifts. He doesn't look happy sat there. Looks like a lost little soul. But everybody's catching. We're going to need a big weight to win it, I think. And it looks like the corners are dominating again. So, I don't know what he's got, but I'm definitely in front of him. Um, a, lot seem, a lot of people seem to be catching. Right, well, um, I hope everyone's gone round. Oh. I'm just about to say, uh, in the last sort of hour. Everybody's catching. Even Nosh is winkling a few arcs, you see. So. Yeah, no idea where I am in the match. Probably a close one. I'm going to want a lot to win it, and I don't think I've got that much. There's a lad over there who's got bloody loads. Keep them lines fed. So yeah, just coming into the sort of last sort of hour and a half now. Uh, everybody's catching from what I can see. I think it's just whoever's got the biggest sort of stamp of fish um, will probably do well in the match. Um, I'm not sure that I'm in a few now. He's winkling odd one out.
who are coming into the last hour there. Everybody's still catching now. You don't know who's won it, who I'm on it. Uh, it's slowed off a little bit for me. And I've alternated them lines out there. I've gone down edge and I've just got a small fish, just bites off small fish, tried corn, tried maggots. Just getting bites off small fish down there. I don't think I've fed it enough, actually. I can't feed it enough when I'm trying to feed every on the feeder lines, you see. So, uh, I had to neglect that sort of edge line a bit. So. Right, keep cracking on, hopefully get a few more and we'll probably see you at the weigh-in now because uh, I could, if I get told decent or I'll well, show you probably but it's getting to that time now where it's pretty much weighing time so wish me luck. Before we get going, I've got to say, I've been up here twice before. What an unbelievable fishery this is, isn't it, Dave? 13, 13 lakes. It's loads, an absolute joke. Loads yeah. of work being done. Um, looking forward to seeing what's going to be like it next year or so. Well, yeah, well, he, he said he's building some more, isn't he? Him? Yeah, Doing so some more, more fishing and all the sorts. The owner, Craig. Craig Kent. Yes. New owner of... Can we say it? <laughs> I don't think, I don't know, I don't think you can. Oh can no, won't say it just yet then. Yeah, not say anything just yet. <laughs> God, no, <laughs> God, <laughs> God I say it. Like Common knowledge. knowledge no, yeah. not yet, I don't think. Not yet, oh, right. Right. Well, we won't say all them, but anyway. Yeah. So, um, well, because uh, a few people have mentioned it to me before I even go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's common knowledge yet. The owner, um, Craig Kent, Doing a fantastic job. Keener's mustered, isn't he? He's got oh, to be, yeah. He has got to be the busiest man alive at the minute, hasn't he? Lovely carver, isn't it? Oh, uh, what? Alan's just... Uh, I, you know what? I think he felt sorry for me, Dave. He walked past me. I just... I got a grip. I've got a 25 pounder on it. Up pulled out. And he says, uh, you can come and get a carver, Alan. He says, I can see you're having a tough day. He says, on me. I went, right, nice one. Oh, well, you see it now, even yeah, all. He said to me, I can have a carver. <laughs> I still feel a bit dodgy from last night. I had a, oh. I had a kebab last night and I watched it boxing and I thought, Pfft. and I feel a bit uh, bit tender. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was a bit dodgy this morning. Bit of a tickly chesty cough going off, mm. but I still had room for that. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. It did look nice, didn't it? Absolutely lovely. Right. But anyway, fishing, fishing, Alan, fishing. Do we have to talk about um, we come all this way, well not all this way, it's only about like an hour in it and a yeah, short still few. Like, and uh, we, got, we get pegged eggs. next to each other. It, we're a bit of a rush, weren't it, at the draw? Uh, well, get into the peg and that. We didn't have time to have a bit. Yeah, he gave us a bit more time, but I'm, I mean, he gets ready in about 10 minutes. Yeah, he does, yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm but a, bit, a bit of a rush, so we couldn't really have a chat uh, this morning or out like that, but... Uh, um, 
yeah anyway fishing wise we got peg next to each other and i thought i'm not getting losing to alan this week I'll five pegs away now. wasn't it seven and twelve yeah but we were still <laughs> next door weren't we yeah. and um yeah i thought i'm not letting alan beat me today and uh, he didn't i've ended up weighing 181 pounds uh, david i've got to say that's a mighty performance yeah, on a new thanks venue. Very much. Mighty. Never fished it before, 180 pounds. And uh, thanks uh, for coming. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 300 odds won it, hasn't it? Yeah, 300 and odds won it. And then there's been a 200 and odd. And uh, yeah, so well well done to uh, all the framers and what have you. Yeah. But uh, I was just in the section where I think someone just beat me by 190 pounds for a section. Which I were absolutely gutted no, about. No, they beat you by ten pound to me. Yeah, beat you by yeah, ten pound. They had hundred and ninety pound. Ninety. Been I'll, a long day, Alan. I'm watching him day. firing pellets in. <clears throat> We'd made his mind up. We'd read up what you do. Maggots in margin. Hmm. Pellets into middle, and whatever else. If you if there's muggers and all, you can do all that if you want. So pellets it is. Method into middle. This is going around while he ain't even watching it. Mine never moved. Not had a, not had no, a fish. Not maybe. fed enough, Alan. Doing not something fed wrong. Not Put two bags of pellets. <coughs> Done something wrong there, haven't you? But what is it? It's my... 40, what did you have? £40. Pound. £41. Pound. And I've had £180. Absolutely yeah. demolished you and a half now, yeah. I think. But but I just... I don't know what it was. I've tried a method feeder like you were using. I had fours. Because the lads have been saying mix micros with fours as well. And that didn't work. Just micros. Micros and ground bait, changed the hot wafters, 8mm wafter, fired it pellets in, not a sign. I even changed to an hybrid feeder, never had a bite on, on certain method. But having said that, neither did Craig. Yeah, he said he couldn't catch up method, didn't no. he? But he's caught down that and side. And the lad in front of me, he only had one. And he went in his margin, he's mm. caught all day, hasn't he? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know why. Well, I've had, I've had two lines on method. I've had a line to like one o'clock and then I've had a line at like, I don't know, maybe 10 o'clock and I've pinged heavy on that line and just pinged odd one on that one. And then I've chucked out on that one. When it's gone, I've had a couple of fish. You get two or three on the trot, keep feeding, then chuck on that one, get a couple on that, go back and just keep alternating. And I've, I've fed them both all day. Shame I couldn't get anything down the margin. I did try it a couple of times and just couldn't catch. I don't think we had the right margins because everyone no. else on that other side, they had the wind blowing into that. And they've been catching like crazy. Uh, they've got reeds they've had, as well. They've had they? reeds on that bank and uh, they've been catching down that margin. And I thought, My margin were lovely there, yeah. but all I could get were roach. And I, I spotted at lads. They feed between four and eight pints of maggots. Yeah, right. There you go then. No ground bait. And I've put... Two, yeah, kilo, two kilos of ground bait in. Well, I didn't know that. And, oh, it's drove me mad. I couldn't even get it in six inch without a roach grabbing it. Yeah. Seven maggots. In a, you imagine if you told somebody off roach fishing with a 12 up and seven maggots. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's been a bit tough, on it, on the margins, but I've just caught on that method, really, all yeah. day and just pinged it and kept it going in. And, yeah, I, uh, I've had a really nice day. Really nice. enjoyed it. Lovely, lovely venue down here. The facilities are absolutely fantastic aren't they i can't uh, lovely breco yeah nice breco nice uh, calvary at the end and and everything it's been a lovely day and even though to uh, smash an osher up on the next peg has been even better for me yeah, yeah, people yeah, have been yeah, saying yeah. to us have a pound on it when you're next to each other well wow, yeah and all this stuff and i'm like well, i'm never next to him but today we didn't have that time to say oh well i'll, I'll have this and that because we were just busy, thank goodness You'd have only wanted a fiver anyway. Oh, yeah, just hadn't had time, but uh, we should have it on all the time, so give me a quid. Oh. Uh, did you use your new cup thing? I got bought him a new cup holder. I didn't have and, a chance um, to see him take it out at packing. Phone holder. Yeah, it, we're, just, we're just busy, too, innit? Too rushed. Too, too so busy. I'll get that out next time. We'll have, we'll, yeah, we'll have a go on it, Alan. Well, we're at Linda, we'll get plenty of time there, won't we? Well, we should have a... Well, we're only setting two rods up, aren't we? Yeah, fair Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that, Linda. We're at the... Aero Cup. Aero Cup. So, uh, but that's it. I think we've had a we've had a bit of a long day, haven't we? So, uh, thanks yeah. very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes, always enjoy me fishing. If you don't enjoy your fishing just because you're not catching out, pack in. I love the days out anyway because I get to see them and have a laugh anyway. Well, let's just leave it on 
181 pound. Yes. 40 pound. Loves gloating, doesn't he? Listen, I'm glad you're coming into some other. form anyway, Dave. We're, we're, we're pairing up, aren't we, for skimmers? Oh, are we? Are yeah. And I've given him an ultimatum, and all on the on the uh, feeder league. Ultimate I said, ultimate. if we don't come in that top ten for that feeder masters, oh, it's gone up pairs, now, has it? Fifteen. Oh, it's just a top fifteen. Sixteen, maybe. Uh, if we don't come in the top 15 of that Feeder Masters bloody pairs this year, we're not doing it. I'm not yeah. doing it. He'll have to find someone. He'll have to go with Jeff Wiseman. Don't Jeff Wiseman's been on phone with me. Yeah. <laughs> have you missed? Have you missed me? Have you missed me? I'm like, Jeff, have I missed you? What, what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, You've been watching too much George Michael, I think, on TV. Oh, he'll be practicing his singing yeah. at Lockwell, Jeff. Yeah, so you'll have to do it with Jeff Wiseman next year because uh, if we don't get in that top 50, we will. I'm not doing it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it this year. Yeah. Don't go up waft doesn't pellets though this year. No, 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 no. I'm not doing any of that. I'm going back to base, what we did before. Yeah. So. Yes. Right. We'll leave it there because I'm going to get back and uh, it's an hour's drive, isn't it? So yeah. we'll get 50 back and minutes from me, so sort my stuff out for Tuesday. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Is has got far more action than mine but you can only do your best and don't forget it's absolutely free to subscribe to these channels if you click that notification bell you get all our videos as we upload them and a thumbs up come on Dave because you've smashed me up today well done Dave it'd be absolutely uh, marvellous yes. so until next time we'll see you on the bank on Tuesday at Lindome Lakes it's a qualifier for the Aero Cup I can't wait Looking I can't wait to it. see you there me. Alan toodaloo over and out keep on banging don't forget to fish up. Guys, thanks for tuning on the video. If you want to see more videos, hit this awesome playlist down here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you soon. Keep on bagging.